All right, guys, welcome back. Today is grinding day. I'm very sorry that I couldn't get to it yesterday. A lot of things came up, so I had to, uh, I was about to go. I'll tell you guys the story later, but let's get going on this. Uh, we're gonna be grinding all the pieces today. So it's just a big grinding session, trying to grind it down to where it fits the pattern. That's all we're doing. So uh, added some water. I should put in some coolant. Actually, I do have some right here, so. I forget how much uh, I should be putting in here, but probably, oh yeah, two capfuls of coolant. Um, and I do have, I don't know, what kind of cap do we need to use? Well, let's just, let's just guess it. It doesn't really matter, you know? Um, some people don't even put it in, so I don't see uh, the problem in not putting it or putting it. Since I have it, I'm gonna put it in. Uh, the whole reason for putting it in there is that coolant acts like a lubricant for the wheel, this bit, and that's, you know, to help when the grinding happens, it'll just help clean up uh, the bit, make it smoother, just like any coolant and how it works and, and cools down things, right? Like engines um, or, uh, yeah, whatever coolant needs to be used for for parts and things and so um, that's all it does is it just is supposed to draw up from the sponge cleans the bit and keeps things cool as we're grinding and you know some people swear by it some people have never used it ever and I, I don't really know what is uh, if never really tested it out extensively enough to to know about it so there's a debate ongoing debate about that. I would guess it's not a big deal if you're doing like small grinding sessions. I never use it for that. Uh, if it's a small grinding day or something, just real quick grinding, I never use it. But just for today, since I have it, again, I'm just gonna use it. So what the heck. All right, um, glasses for sure. I know I'm kind of trying to hurry through this because today, if I don't get this done, it's gonna be another day of not getting this out to you guys, so I apologize. And um, yeah, I just really want this out out there. Um, so let's get going on this and I'll chat more about stuff. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I think we should do, yeah, I don't know. Grinding's hopefully pretty self-explanatory. You guys have seen grinding before. I also doubt that anybody will might sit through some grinding sessions, you know, just because it's so loud, right? So, unless you like the sound of the grinding, hoping the microphone picks up more of me than the grinding, because I'll turn it down for you guys so it's not loud, but if, by turning it down, it's going to turn down the vocals as well, right? So. Um, so, yeah, yesterday I was set up, getting set up, day was going well, and I started later on in the day, and um, started setting up and everything was going well, like getting ready and almost like ready to hit the start button um, to get going, and you know, I've, I have like, I have the session that I know it's going to be a while, sit here do my grinding of all the entire pieces here and then uh, we got a call from school from my son's preschool uh, so that he was like itching his eye and started puffing up and so he probably got like an infection and so they wanted to you know just have us bring him home and which is a good idea so that was we had to do that you know so I had to stop everything and just ended up having to leave Oops, having to leave and just go home. I mean, go get him, bring him home. And then we brought my daughter home too. So basically the day was, we just ended the day short, you know, for, for myself and my wife from work. So, uh, you know, not a big deal, but yeah, sorry. I didn't, I really wanted to get this going again. Cause every day, we lose, it 
just keeps extending the project, but, you know, what the heck, life happens, and... That's it. Things happen. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, uh, maybe feeling a little bit rushed today, and right now I only have about an hour and a half, maybe even less. Um... So, if everything goes well, we can get these parts all done. Something is, uh, oh yeah. Did you guys hear that? It's like a echoey, echoey something shaking as the grinding's going. I'll try to fix. Let's try it again. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, so remember yesterday I asked you guys if you could Leave me uh, some type of emoji that you watched to the end and you were there because you, obviously if you didn't hear, you wouldn't have known to, to do that. I swear I did not expect maybe like one emoji to come up and then all of a sudden, uh, man, it was, there's a lot, there's a lot of you guys out there that are watching, you're watching, and you're, you're hanging out with me for reals, and um, it's so special, thank you. It's, uh, I, I never really expected that. Um, so, yeah, how amazing. That's, it's quite special, really. Um, I had no idea there'd be that many, so seriously. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Today's grinding though. I'm also, I also wonder like how many people would want to sit through a grinding session. Um, you know, who knows, right? Like I, I assume things and I could be wrong again. So I'm not gonna... I think this is mostly... Just so you can really see the process, right? You can see the actual... The work, the time that goes into it. Because it does take a shit ton of time. And... Most of us do it for the love of it. And we're insane. That's what it is. We just wanna do this work no matter what you put in the time and energy into it and just cause you just want to do it you know it's crazy um, you also see why it's expensive cause we put in a ton of time and probably not worth it's probably worth more than our time, is what I mean, right? Like, you calculated out the actual processing time. Just, you know, you gotta get good at like one design, do that over and over until you know how to cut it so well, you don't waste time in that, you don't waste your glass. You know, every step. And that's, most people don't do that. Most people don't even get to that level, that point. To be honest, when you get to that point, for me, I've already, I feel like I'm bored with that project or not so bored, but you know, like give me something new. I want to try something new. So that's, what I try to do here with this channel like if I 
just the same thing over and over. For one, I would get bored of it. And I think you guys would get bored of it because, you know, let's say we get the flower of life over and over. You're going to see the same shapes, same grinding, same, same stuff, you know. Um, so I like to change it up. Hopefully I could keep going and keep changing it up too, you know. Alright, so far... Okay, make sure that sponge is rubbing right on the bit. And then I was going to say, yesterday when I, like after everybody was home, got the kids home, and I thought about coming back in, trying to work, couldn't do it, couldn't, uh, wasn't feeling it, you know, like, when I do this stuff, even the grinding part, if I'm irritated or I'm not feeling good, yeah, like I don't, I don't, you know, I'm frustrated, you know, I got frustrated because I, I was about to do the work and then something got, you know, it interrupted my work and I couldn't shake it off for a while and I was like, oh man, I gotta, you know, stop it and not, or not start it and not do anything. And then I was trying to get back into it and it was like, just not feeling it, you know, not feeling good. And so I couldn't start it up again. I don't know, that's just, uh, I think a lot of people are like that. I talked to my friend too and he's, you know, he says if he's frustrated, he's just walks away. It's like you just put it down and don't even touch. You can't even start anything because you're just going to get frustrated and get pissed off. Um, we got a lot of grinding, I'm trying to, oh yeah, I did, I did cut, um, around the edges a little bit more, just so we have, uh, this thing, oh man, there's so much, so much to grind, uh, which way is what, the grinding part is definitely, uh, just, you just got to suck it up and do it, get in the zone, you know, and it's, it's not as bad, I think, as the foiling, which is next, so we're going to get to that point, um, but I hope this doesn't take an hour, it probably will, actually. solid I got a solid hour and hour and something maybe not an hour and a half I gotta get going so hopefully everything goes well no interruptions and we can get some work going let's see this I already see having to grind ah, even even these guys again.
So this cover that I use, I saw it uh, from, I think it was Janelle Fu on Instagram. Um, she had posted something like this, like, hey, put this under a, put your template under a piece of paper. I mean, uh, the paper under the sleeve to protect it. And I was like, oh man, that's so crazy because I've never even done that. I, I just use the paper and then it gets soaked, right? Like you just keep putting wet stuff on it, like never thinking about it. So like these little tips, all these things that you learn along the way, it's amazing. So Janelle, thank you. You're out there listening. Uh, probably not, but yeah, we got our we got our small crew here. This is fine. I love it. Um, I honestly feel like I'm connecting with you guys more now. And then before where when I started, it was like, you know, making the smaller short videos like what everybody else is you're supposed to do. And uh, short form stuff, uh, not short form, but just short enough videos. Right. But in that time, uh, I'm just you know trying to give as much information as I can get it out there be done with the video and then of course there's like a lot of editing and stuff that goes with it um so that that was the work and, and then we got a lot of comments there um you know from those videos but it never was never was a uh i don't know it's not the same like do you know how how crazy it feels when i say when I asked you to like, hey, put a, give me a thumbs up or something and, and for the emoji. And you guys did that. Like that's, it's almost like a, a like a secret club, you know, like, like where you, you're here with me, right? And so it's like, hey, do this, do this and, and I'll see you and then I'll know it's you. And so now it's like, like that happened. <laughs> you did it, you know? Um, so, so it's like a, yeah, honestly, it's like a secret club or something. Um, it's, a weird, it's a weird thing. So it's different than the other comments from before is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, it's... Yeah, I, I, I feel like... Before I did, wasn't sure if people were listening, you know. That's that's what it does. Like it is. Um, it feels like people may or may not listen, right? I got I got some eyes, some views on a video, and um, you know that's great. But I don't know who's listening to what part of the video. What parts of the video are they listening to? So in my mind, I'm thinking like, okay, you're not, you're just kind of there browsing and like going through the videos and like maybe find another one and you keep watching it. And then with this right here, what we're doing now, I feel like, like, damn, they're, uh, they might be listening to everything, you know, like everything that I'm saying, you guys might actually be here listening and being with me so to know that is uh i guess it should be intimidating but because i know it's you know the true the true ones out there then i feel less uh, worried and I, i'm actually more comfortable to just be here and say whatever and that's a nice feeling it makes me feel more relaxed um, you know, and I can just, like, I don't have to talk as much. I don't have to try to come up with things all the time or say anything. Like, you're just here. We're just hanging out. So, you know, I'm doing this work. You're doing something else. And we're just kind of, like, just hanging out. So that's enough for me. It's it's a very cool feeling. Um Yeah, I appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. 
Um, I just can't seem to get this piece looking right, like the angle of it. Mm, okay, maybe that looks... You guys see it there? Yeah. Okay. I will grind this down. <laughs> So another thing I'd like to know from you is what are you doing right now while you're watching this? Um, is it, you know, just, just casually hanging out at home or, you know, like you're doing stained glass work as well? Like you're actually putting together your project, making your project? At what point are we meeting up? And um, you know, you're joining me here today for this. What what is it um, that you're up to? So maybe that would be nice to see in the comments. Um, let me know what what you're up to in your world while you're watching. Yeah, so that would be like a nice feedback. Um, that, oh, that thing doesn't need to be that long at all. How long did this take for like three pieces? We are... It's gonna, it's gonna extend way over time. Okay, I mean, uh... get better as we move along here each piece hopefully I can dial it in and get it better you know right now I'm just don't you just wish this thing would just grind itself and not crazy it just what's this where uh Oh, I guess so. Um, Imagine like these people out there that are making this pattern, right? They're, you know, like somebody mentioned like Dichroic Glassman. And uh, he does um, he does a lot of flower of life pattern work. Incorporates it into his work. So he likes to do use this pattern a lot. I wonder if he's, he cuts it and there's no need to grind, like it's done, you know, you cut it.
first time and that's it it's exactly the size you want to shape and you don't have to sit here and grind for like a, a day <laughs> you know um, if you can do that that would be that would just be a time saver you don't have to waste trying to you know finish this thing like this um, for some reason this is where we are at every single one I have to grind <laughs> I almost feel like I, I, it looks good, looks like I did it right, but then this is the fine tuning part of it to get it just right. I wonder if people can sit there and just make it perfect, perfect cuts. Seems hard, really hard with these. Um, you either cut them too small, risk cutting too small, or they just they're like this on the line and it's still, you have to grind a ton of it. These ones are the hardest to grind, the triangles, kind of very sharp points. You know, no matter where the line is on your, like the marker on these pieces, even if you can see them, it's, it's just like a good indication of where you need to go. But ultimately, you really have to eyeball it. And you just keep grinding more and more down. But having the line doesn't mean like go up to the line and then you're done. Having the line just shows you you might be in the right spot. Okay, I don't know where we cut out the recorder. 
stopped after the 30 minutes again. Um, this is an ongoing thing that, that happens to cameras. And if I'm not f watching that recording screen, then we, uh, we cut out and, or it stops and I'm just talking. So there's an animal on top of my roof and it's usually a cat, but uh, that was it. Or sometimes birds, but that, that's a cat and it's pretty heavy. Um, the fuck? Does that sound like a bird? Sounds like a cat. I don't know, birds, cats, squirrels, I've got those around here so they will join us from time to time uh, okay yeah uh, I was saying so I was asking I'll just start over because I don't even know where it stops um, I was asking you guys what you're doing you know while you're hanging out here with me so that'd be nice to know what you're up to while we're doing this stuff and um, the next thing is, I know I get a lot of people from the U.S. And so that's, that's uh, given to me, right? So I know that majority of, of you are from the United States. So first, I'd like to know what state. Um, and then if you're not from the States, I'd love to know where you're watching from. So it'd be nice to see a comment that's just to let me know, you know, hey, I'm watching from this um, country, state, wherever you are. So, um, yeah, just, just, it'd be nice to get to know you as well. Like, what you're doing, what you're up to, where you're from, um, where, you're, where you're at, what you're up to. Because this way, then... Instead of seeing like, you know, um, I don't know, like like just the handle name. I don't want to say anybody's name thing, but um, I just see your handle name. I would know now, like, hey, you know, this person's from here. Like, for one right now, I have Therese. I know she's from Washington, <laughs> Washington State. So, right, that's cool because Therese says that from Washington. So it's very cool. Then now it connects my brain to to know, okay, I got Therese from Washington. And then who else? You know, it would be nice to see where you're you're at. Just I don't know, like we're getting to know each other more. It's kind of fun. Because I'm gonna still be here trying to do my work, share this with you, you know, as, as uh, much as I can, I'm trying to, trying to do the work, I'm trying to continue this craft, learn my, get my skills going, um, you know, just get better at it, as long as I'm still having fun with it, I still think it's cool, I want to, Like, not trying to be, you know, like the ultimate professional stained glass person, whatever that is. But I just want to be good at it. So I'll keep working at it, and as long as I'm doing that, I might as well, like, gain some friends, you know, along the way. So. I think it'd be fun, it'd be really cool to, to do that. Because um, again, I think we, we, like I don't really feel like we were as connected then, because I'd see comments and stuff, but then it'd be like, it'd disappear and sometimes I, sometimes I don't see it because it uh, pops up in another video an older one, something like that. Whereas this, if I'm over here um, getting out and doing this stuff, then I know, um, 
you know, we're doing this more often, so we get to see each other more. And, um, and it, it helps my mind because then I'm just, I don't disappear for like a week or two or a whole month or something. Maybe I should do like a daily thing, well not daily, I mean a video thing where uh, if I could do it daily this would be, this would be good, um, I'll try to work up to that, <laughs> I doubt that's going to happen, um, but yeah if I could do it like per video where there's like a thing that we can, I could learn from you, I would love that, I would want that, um, I, w I want to I want it to be a thing somehow. I don't know. It's uh, we're just starting. We're just developing this, so um, it could turn into some fun. You guys think I'm gonna be done in an hour here? This is that's oh, okay. So it's been thirty minutes. <sighs> There's no way. It's been 30 minutes from the recording that stopped, and now I have, I haven't even gotten like an eighth of it or something. So maybe this will be longer than I thought. But if it does take longer, I will have to end it sooner. Let's put a, I gotta put a timer on because I'm gonna forget for sure. Uh, Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a good... I got it. Let's do an hour from now. Let's just do an hour from now. Oh, no. Sorry. Not an hour from now. What am I talking about? Let's do like 40 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do that. Uh, we'll check in in a little bit there. Where's my class? Okay. Yeah, I remember trying before, or I did it. Asked you guys where you, you know, how you found yourself getting into stained glass or. How you got interested in it, or if you've started, if you haven't. That was so nice to see that. Like, so many comments, like, hey, I got started from my grandparents um, doing it, or, you know, and, and acquiring the equipment and stuff, or um, family, whatever it is. And, um, uh, there's so much more that I would love to know, so we can do that, but let's just start with, um, for now, let's just keep it, keep it simple. And we, can add, we can go on and on about this, too many questions, um, so it's very cool, but yeah, we'll, we'll take it, we'll take it step by step. Um, so right now, just like, where are you watching this from? That's it. Um, are you in the States? Are you in a different country? And yes, yeah, amazing that we get people from all over watching.
like I got a cut. I feel like I got a cut. Oh, shit, I got a cut. I think I got a cut. little cut small cut let's see uh seems like it's it's gonna heal look under this magnifier right here <laughs> little tiny cut I gotta get a towel I guess just pushing on the glass, that's all. Should I just, oh, I can wear the gloves. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, it's not bad at all, so. Guess you'll always get a cut somehow, you know? Okay. I don't want to stop this. I want to keep going as much as we can. Feel like I can't grip it as much. Feels like it's slipping. But it's probably better to have it on than not. Shave down the tips. <laughs> When we go to clean these, oh man, they're or foil and move around the pieces like they all technically should fit together anywhere. 
you know, but sometimes like that, that could cause problems where one piece fits perfectly in this one spot because of the grinding that you did next to the other piece. You know what I mean? Like if those two pieces were perfect in that spot and then you move it somewhere else and then it changes the way that everything touches and um, comes together. So I'm gonna have to try to try to keep everything like exactly where they're supposed to be, something like that. Man, this is forever. so weird okay so uh, created a hole through the glove and then the blood came out of the hole onto uh, the onto this grid right here I can see it and now I'm bleeding a little bit more now all right I guess I got to stop uh, dang I'll uh, go clean this up. Be right back. Yeah. Okay. All right, I got the band-aid on there. It's it's all good. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if I should take a, a foil class, like um, do, do copper foiling class again, like just to see what they can teach or what I can learn more of, you know, like different techniques. I got this place. It's a very old stained glass shop. It's in Berkeley, it's nearby. It's called Stained Glass Garden. So they've been very helpful in, well, first having supplies and whatever glass and stuff that you need, but just genuinely, like, genuinely, like, nice people. Um, and the owner, Julie, she's amazing. She's, she was the, uh, she was my instructor for um, the lead, the lead, uh, lead light, lead came workshop class that I took so I learned a ton from that and now I'm able to do you know this this type of work or the lettered work because of that so yeah I wonder if I could should probably take another class from her or whoever and um, like see what what I can get more out of um, the class than I could share that with you guys. But lately I haven't been able to go to a class. So might be a, a like a waiting, I don't know, I don't know when. I'm just talking. 
I don't think it's a bad idea. I think we should. There's uh, more classes there too. I wanted to do fusing, uh, learning how to do that, and I don't know, make projects like that too. So seems really cool. Yeah, so they offer that as well, and so many other other classes. I'm sure I could take too. But um, yeah, I'll be sure to let you know if I decide on that. So basically, I'm just doing this right now. Learned on my own, watching other people on YouTube. You know, and it's been great because picked it up and just started doing it. Like, and here we are. But I also thought about, like, you need to follow somebody if you want to get really good at, to, at it and, or know more about it. Learn about learn the craft really well, but yeah, it's I don't know, it's just a thought. Not like I got the time for any of it right now. This will definitely be longer than an hour now that we're sitting here doing the actual work. Um, I think you I mean it's gonna be way more than an hour I'm trying to think, last time I did the Seed of Life, and that was way smaller of a project. I think it took me like two and a half hours to grind every single piece to get it just right. So, no way in hell this is, uh, is going to be done within the hour here. 
uh, which means, what does that mean? That means how many videos are we going to have to do? Because today I got to cut it short at about, you know, like um, maybe in about half an hour from now or something like that. And realistically, what? You know what? I'm just gonna ask you guys questions. You can answer whatever you want to answer. It's probably better. It's gonna be hard keeping track of of my own thoughts that come as we're working, hanging out here. So the question is, how long is too long of a video? Because I, I would think like over 10 minutes is long, like way too long. And um, I just decided, well, what the heck, you know, I got to just do it because this is the only way to keep me going. And I can sit and, oh, what is, let me check my, let me check my bandage. Oh, it's soaked. So the water's going through. My gloves again. What in the heck? Let's try. Let's try. Let's try a thicker one. Also, I gotta have like a better um, first aid around here. Okay, here we go. Trying a different glove. So we can just keep going on this. This one seems thicker. This is the one I was working, I don't even know which one I was working on. This one seems like it. Or was it this? Yeah. They all look like they need to be ground down some more. So we were saying, How long is too long of a video, right? Like, you wouldn't want to sit through two hours of this, do you? I mean, that's a long time. Um, or maybe, or not, I don't know. Like, five hours is way too long. That's crazy. Sitting here, out here, um, you know, going for that long um, at a time. So for sure, I don't wanna do it um, and it's gonna be tiring. So to me right now, like I get a chance to get out, do this for about at least an hour, hour and a half. Usually like about hour and a half to two hours I could probably pull and that would be a very good day. And most of it, I can, you know, there'll be a lot of progress within those, that time. So, yeah, how long is too long? Because um, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to publish more than an hour and a half or something. I'm trying to, like, keep it to that. But even then, I, obviously, there's only a select few um, of you out there that will will be here, you know, doing, like watching, hanging out here. So. What's good for you? What is it? What's, I wonder what 
that number is. Because right now for sure I'm not doing the 10 minute videos. I... I can make the videos like this and then you know start like doing some editing on it and it's very it's not that quick I mean it's still pretty good but it's still like probably probably like an hour of uh, sitting there doing making sure like we're swapping from camera to camera, test, checking that out sometimes. Um, I just like to change it up so you can see. But if not, you know, the easiest thing is to do one camera, hit record, start talking, and then that's it. And then basically go to the upload and um, whatever, get the thumbnails and you know there's a lot more work um, thumbnails description and whatever else that needs to be added and yeah and then um, then you guys see it so that's that's pretty much the work it's a still work but it's, it's much better than doing the smaller videos with more cuts that requires a lot of editing time and so right now I've kind of just given up on that because I don't I would rather not sit for a day or two or a couple of days to just get that right get the music it's entertaining you know I have a good time when I'm done with it Maybe sometimes during it too, but when it's done, I feel really good that I did that. But, um, you know, that is more for, that's just for people with a little bit more time right now. So, um, yeah, I can't do that right now. Plus, I think that that style doesn't give us the time um, that we're spending like this. And yeah, I, I mean, I can ask to get to know you more too. So I would like that more actually, like I was saying with the um, people putting the emojis of the thumbs up and stuff. Cause I asked you guys to do that and you did it and so like, I don't think I've ever, yeah, it's, that's so cool. <laughs> that's amazing. Um, yeah, it's just, I just want to get like one circle done. <sighs> Let's just get there and see. Yeah, the other thing I wanted to know was, besides like, how you found, or besides like where you're watching from and, you know, more your location, like where you, like are you, uh, What's, what's, are you retired? Are you working? And if you're working, are you like working as an artist? Are you working in a whole completely different field? And you know, you have nothing to do with stained glass at all. You just enjoy the craft and the work. So like, yeah, you know, I hate to ask people that. What do you do for work? It's like the worst thing to ask people. 
Um, you know, and, and sometimes you don't even want to give that out or like say it. It's not it's irrelevant to the to to what you are all about. Like we are all more than just our work. You know, so sometimes I do hate that you're asked, "What do you do for work?" It's a question I try not to even answer. Um, so yeah, maybe I don't need to know what you do for work. <laughs> but I feel like I want to just know like more about you. What, what you... How about this? How about what do you do besides stained glass? You know, like if you're into stained glass, or you're watching this and you like it because you watch it, what do you do besides... What other things are you into besides watching stained glass or, you know, interested in this craft, right? Like, you like hunting, you like biking, you like motorcycles, like me, um, you know, so... I'm sure there's a lot more that we do outside of just the work. Like, do you like football? Did you watch the game, the Super Bowl? Are you a Niners fan? Was that uh, pretty devastating? <laughs> I uh, live in the Bay Area, so... Can't, uh, you can't, can't, like, not be in the Bay Area and not, not kind of want to cheer for the 49ers. Um, but myself personally don't, uh, don't really get into football. But I did watch, uh, this, this, you know, the, the last couple of games, it started getting exciting and, um, you know, people around me and stuff. So uh, they were into it. So yeah, I, I ended up kind of getting into it. Um, and, and that was pretty amazing. Um, but normally I try, I, I, don't, I don't watch football. But yeah, so what do you like? What do you like to do? I know I'm asking, uh, asking a lot from a lot of you, and you're all different, you're all over. Like, you know, you're not from the States, like, who cares about football? I get that, you know, so. Trying to match trying to see trying to see outside more of what I can see from these stats that Google gives me. Like uh, one thing is I guess one big shift that I've seen. From when I started, was that I want to say it was like so. There's a stat that shows me like male and female watchers, and oh shoot, I hope I didn't mess this one up. Yeah, like a male and female watcher or viewer, and um, it was like majority female watching and so now it's switched to like I think first it was like 70% female to male and then just recently that I've seen it is a it's about 55 male 
yeah, 55 male, 45 female now. That's, that's what it's showing. Um, but, you know, I'd like to get away from that, from what Google's showing me and, like, get the raw data. It'd be kind of cool. Like, I would, whatever these questions we're talking about or this conversation we're having, um, really just be nice to know, like, oh, yeah. This is real because you guys are telling me from you. You're, you're the one giving me the info. Um, so, yeah, that's just uh, blabbering on about stuff. Tell you this grinding thing. I mean, I. At least I haven't messed up this just yet, so that's all right. And I feel like we're just moving, it's moving along. So. lines are staying really nicely. We got, um, let's put down another, Not that much longer, I don't have. So what does that mean? That means... 
still got a ton of grinding to do, right? This one has to be... It all has to be ground down. And... Uh, yeah, I'm afraid this is not gonna be... Well... This video can either go one or two ways I can you know when I stop we'll stop it and that video will be done and that's it like whatever whatever we get to is is it that would be the video so that would be one one way of it the other would be trying to add to it record Record more of the grinding, which I think, honestly, probably don't need to do it anymore. Cause why? That's just, it's too much of the same repetitive stuff. Even now, I feel like I'm just, you know, sitting here doing the same stuff. And um, I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm entertained because I'm with you. I'm I'm chatting with you. That's like the only way that's keeping me going. <laughs> Seriously, um, so I feel like I could probably do that more, but it, maybe it's okay. And that was the other cut. Um, yeah, but like, I'm not gonna subject you to more of of just me going off about random stuff. So I would rather not do that. I think. The next time it goes off, I will, I will just call it, and I'll make this video, I'll put it up, and it'll just end, it'll just end wherever it ends, and uh, it's going to take me a couple more tries to get this ground down so we're ready for foil um, man. like you can see the work involved here me trying to do this to just be here in silence doing the work okay I already feel like I don't know, this, uh, this was like an hour yeah it's like a good three three and a half four hours feels like it could be there and I think maybe by talking I kind of uh, I don't concentrate as much Grinding, I pause, talk, do the grinding, the pause, and maybe that's like throwing me off. I just need more practice with that. But yeah, seriously, this is not going to be a uh, quick, quick job. So maybe after this video, I finish it and finish uh, the project, you know, quietly on my own.
and that's fine. I could do. I could. We don't have to do a video on that. This is gonna be too long, like we discussed. But yeah, like, what do you guys think? What's what's too long? You know, what's what's too long? Hour and a half. Like, I think I want to cap it. Hour and a half. That's longer than that. It's too long. You know, like already, it's obviously it's a long video, but hour and a half too long or over hour and a half it's too long so something like that um and we can just say yeah don't don't do uh videos over an hour and a half anything over that is we gotta cut it which means uh this this video right now probably just coming up to the hour and a half mark and because um, I think it stopped it stopped two times two times now we're on the third one um, if that's correct every 30 minutes we're on the third one or I forget we might even be on the fourth one um, which means that's a two hour thing now so um, I don't know. But yeah, you're, you're, like you're definitely not here anymore because you want to hear the grinding. Because that's, that's a drive anybody mad. Honestly, the, Grinding days, I don't expect anybody to be around here because it's so loud. And I normally skip through it, fast forward, all that stuff, right? You just want to see, like the results. Okay, how's it look? What's, what's the final grinding process? But yeah, if you're like hanging out with me here and Enjoy the background noise. It's grinding. It's super fine with me. I just don't think I could do a, do another video of the grinding. So plan will be to finish this video, get uh, finished up with the rest of the grinding later, whenever um, I can get back in the studio. When we see each other again, um, I will have this grinded down and we move on to the next step. At least there's something more to discuss and talk about or share. You know, like, like we're going to do the copper foiling for all these pieces. I forgot to count how many that we have, but, you know, doing all the pieces there is going to be a whole new topic. Um, and, oh, just give me one. I just want to do like a full circle. I don't know why I got this clear. I got this clear glass in there, it's okay. Oh, I got a couple of them actually. Yeah. I just want to finish up the one full circle. This is like the work that nobody sees behind the scenes. You know, all the Instagram posts that are like, fast forward through all the 
laying out of the copper foil and then solder and boom it's a done finished product because we know that's what everybody likes and you know I'm gonna do the same thing with this you'll expect it on Instagram like for sure I will do that because um, it's entertaining and it's fun to see but most people don't really think about the background work this is the real grind literally the real grind um, that we're doing and I don't mind it I don't mind it honestly the grinding part I don't mind it it's it's like I zone out and it's a therapeutic kind of a session you know if I wasn't talking to you hanging out with you I would be I would have some music on probably Yeah, just go at it, so. But I'm just trying to get through this here. Um, but yeah, I get to talk to you, hang out with you, and that is a blessing. can feel the water getting thicker as well so from all this grinding just today's fresh water with the coolant and it is getting uh, muddied up right now so will need to be changed out bits and stuff in there uh, we got uh, yeah I mean okay that's good let's go let's go one more one more here we'll do the green one and then it'll be a nice wrap up I don't know why I put I got uh, it doesn't even look good with the I mean it looks good it's just I have three clear ones and it, on the wrong Position, it's okay. Yeah, sorry today was like a... Just me being all over the place. Wasn't really planning to be like that, but I guess... Yeah, that's fine. is kind of what happens when you're sitting here by yourself and just chatting up. So yeah, that's why if I know you guys more, we have we, we probably have more to talk about. Um, so yeah, please share. Do share whatever you want to share with me. Leave some cool stuff in the comments. I do see them. Um, especially when it's just a couple of comments right now. I definitely see them and I appreciate them. Throughout my day, I randomly get like a pop-up of the comments. And it's like, it's so good. Because right now, I, I don't have, I don't have hate comments, you know. Um, luckily, I don't have that. I don't have like people coming in and just trashing what I'm doing and stuff. 
So it's all love. It's all good stuff, and that's what I want. I want. I want the good people around here. I don't want people having to tell me that my work sucks or I don't know, like the nasty stuff you see out there, right? Um, I gotta tell you guys one one uh, one time when I started. This is like an old video, very old video, and um, I don't know which one it was, but it's got to be like. You know, maybe the feather one or something, something that reached out to a lot of people. And um, I was in, I was having a vacation. This is before we had, I think we were like on a honeymoon or something, or like a baby moon, something like that. Um, but I was in Quebec and got this comment, so I pull out my phone, look at it. And the guy was like, oh, I don't know if it's a guy or girl, but I think the name was like some 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 guy name. But yeah, he he was like, it was pretty mean, you know. It was like like you need to go back to you need to go learn this stuff and stop teaching people the wrong things, blah blah blah. And your thing sucks. Something like that. I guess it didn't. It was probably worse than. Um, I don't know. It felt worse than than what I'm telling you right now. But immediately, I I was really affected by it, and um, I let it affect me back then. And you know, like block the comment, block the person. So I deleted the comment because I didn't want anybody to see it. Um, I didn't want people that were into this and trying to get into this to see it and be like, oh man, like get discouraged and then get some hate stuff. Like I don't want the hate on my page. And um, so that's gone, you know, but I later on I realized like you can't really help those people. And if it happens to you, like you got to accept it, but it's not, it's not, it's not you, it's them. You know, and so it took a while to learn that. I'm glad I did, but as of right now, like I don't have hate comments at all. Um, so I'm thankful for that because <laughs> it'll ruin your day. You know, it'll come up and then you'll be like, "Oh man, what a jerk!" Like that's not cool. And so that happened, and I, I was like, "Oh man, like." You get discouraged, like, I don't want to put out a, a video and then have somebody think, oh man, your shit sucks and, you know, why are you telling people how to do it this way or that or whatever it is? And so, um, yeah, hopefully we don't get there at all. Like, I want to keep it small, um, you know, where we're at right now. So, <sighs> all right, finally, I think we're done. Um, dang, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm getting... Yeah, I, I think that's uh, good for today. <laughs> I got like one full circle, and I think they should they should be pretty good, you know, grinding. Oh, I'm sure there will be more work, more like fine tuning. You know, as. I have to see it at, like a whole big picture. I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to mm, print out double or print out a lot of or like uh, full size, connect them together and lay it all out so we know that it fits. But as of right now, you guys can see there's uh, I don't know these pieces that are just about good. Um, and then the rest of it, what I plan to do is, yeah, I'll, I'll just uh, do this on my own at some point, um, you know, maybe throughout the weekend or something and uh, have a private session here. Just get it done, get it out of the way. So the grinding will be done. Next time I see you guys, it'll be the, we'll get into the copper foiling. 
slow process for sure. Um, this, this is what it takes, especially for somebody like me that I'm, I'm not like available to do all this stuff full time right now just yet. So, um, yeah. So what was I, what were we talking about? We were asking, I was asking you guys if, um, let me know where you're watching from, right? Like from the States, from another country. It'd be really cool to just see that. Um, and, and the more, the more I see you comment, then I would, it would help me remember you more. So that would be very nice. Um, if I know you're around here, uh, watching and stuff. So, um, yeah. And like, I don't know. I, I, there were some other questions and things, but yeah, <laughs> thank you for hanging out. This is so fun. Um, I will try to get out there again. We'll get going on another video. I'm probably not going to do that next grinding session. It's just going to be repetitive, same stuff. I don't know. Um, also let me know how long is too long, right? One hour and a half. I think it's like the max I want to do. Um, so hopefully this video is kept under that timeline, but, um, I'll post this up as soon as I can. Hopefully I can get to it like later on today. It's going to be a tight, tight uh, race here today to get this out. But I'm trying my best and um, hope you guys enjoy it and uh, enjoy our time here together. So thank you so much. I'll see you uh, in the next video. All right.